not a game, it's a red thing. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's been a long time since I have last posted a makeup tutorial. It's mainly because of my skin purging. So uh, now my skin has healed a lot. So I thought of just putting a tutorial for you. And hence I have created this very pretty pink eyes with this uh, black and white winged eyeliner paired with nude lips, which turned out to be really great. Although I do have a number of scars on my face. So please bear with it. I hope you're gonna like it. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get started. So I have already moisturized my face very nicely with my favorite moisturizer of all time and it's the Suganda White Lotus Moisturizer which is so calming for my face. It's time to do my brows so I'm taking a spoolie and brushing it through my brows to just give it a very nice shape. Now I'm going to take this Europe Girl uh, 3D Sculpt Eyebrow Kit and I'm using this middle ash brown shade from the palette and with the applicator it comes with I'm going to just at first outline my brow and fill it in using the same product and whatever product is left in the brush I'm going to put it in the front part of my brow to make it look really natural and it's very pigmented and easy to use you can use it on a regular basis. Now I'm taking a concealer and clean out the edges uh, to give a very nice shape to my brows to make my brows look really prominent since we are not visiting salons and we, we are not doing anything for our brows it's better to just clean out the edges to make your brows look threaded and nice so you can see I have added a very nice shape to my brows and my brows are looking quite bold and nice. Now to prime my face, I'm using my all-time favorite uh, primer. This is the Packport Primer, which is so soothing for my face. It hydrates my face at the same time fill in my pores. Doesn't look heavy or overly matte on my face. It doesn't make my face look really dry. And makeup sits really well on top of this primer. Now I'm going to put my foundation for which I'm using Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige and I'm going to mix uh, my current obsession the YBP Plant Remedy Elixir. I'm just adding two drops of it into my foundation just mixing it really well and applying it all over my face so I just need to add really good products for my skin so mixing a really nice oil into your foundation adds a very nice dew in it to your foundation foundation glides on really smoothly it makes your skin look really healthy hydrated so recently i'm enjoying this routine and with the help of this Vaishi beauty sponge i'm blending this out and you can see this foundation is having more like a medium to full coverage it helps seen just hide all my imperfections and everything and i really like it so now i'm taking this concealer from sugar it's a sugar magic wand concealer it's also a full coverage concealer which works really well on my skin it blends really well at the same time gives you such a nice coverage helps you in just hiding your dark circles pigmentation spots i'm putting it under my eyes and also blending the same and you can see the difference it looks really really pretty now it's time to set my foundation and my concealer for which i'm using the sugar dream cover mattifying compact in the shade choco sino this is so natural looking compact guys it actually sets your makeup without making your face look cakey or it doesn't look that as if you have applied powder on your face because it looks so natural at the same time sets your makeup so well gives you a very nice soft matte finish which i really like now it's time to do my eyes so for the eyes I'm using my all-time favorite colorful eyeshadow palette. This is the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade palette. And at first, I'm taking this very peppy pink shade and I'm spraying a little bit of fixer on the brush. I'm just applying it directly all over my lid. And you can see the intensity of the color. This is so damn pigmented. And I'm just applying it all over my lid. As you can see, you can use any pink shade you have in your collection. Just make sure that you just remove the fallouts you get from this sort of very popping shade now i'm taking this eye magic 35 color eyeshadow palette and taking this matte mauve shade from the fat palette you can use any light brown shade or even light pink shade uh, for the transition color of this sort of eye look i'm just blending out the edges 
um, of the previous shade which I have put on my lid. I'm basically using it as my transition color and to blend out everything so that everything look, looks very natural and nice. Now I'm taking this magenta matte shade from the Juvia's Place palette in a deeper blending brush. I'm going to apply it in the outer two thirds of my eyes as you can see to add a lot more depth and just dragging it towards my transition color to just blend it very nicely. Reapplying that uh, pink all over my lid to just intensify the color. Now I'm taking this uh, fluffy blending brush. This is a clean one and I'm just blending out the edges so that everything looks very smooth and there is no harsh lines. Now taking the mauve shade in a small blending brush, I'm going to apply it all over my lower lash line and also followed by that pink shade very close to my waterline. Make sure that you blend out everything really nicely. Now I'm taking this kajal. This one is from Faces Canada. It's the Faces Intense Gel Kajal in the shade black. And I'm going to tightline my upper waterline with it. And for my lower waterline, I'm going to use this new dye pencil from PAC. It's my all-time favorite. You guys know how much I love this color, this pencil. I'm going to just tightline my lower waterline with the help of this new dye pencil, which is going to make my eyes look really big and looks really open and it just wakes me up guys now i'm going to take this liquid eyeliner from color bar which is my current obsession this is so damn good guys it's a very affordable at the same time this is a hundred percent matte liquid eyeliner it lasts really long and you can actually draw thin wings as well as very thick wings with the help of this product it's a very affordable one it's a hidden gem guys which you can definitely try a really pretty eyeliner as you can see i've created a very nice wing and now I'm going to draw another winged eyeliner on top of my black winged eyeliner with the help of this new dye pencil. So you have to be very precise and very careful while you are just doing it. But it's a very easy step guys. You can see I'm just drawing another ring on top of that black one. Intensifying it a little bit to make it look a lot more stark. And I'm just cleaning out the edges by reapplying that black uh, eyeliner again. To make uh, the black eyeliner look a lot more precise and nice and ba ba boom it's done this is how i have created this black and white winged eyeliner which looks so damn pretty now i'm going to add mascara for which i'm using pack uh, voluminous uh, double volume mascara which i absolutely love it just separates my lashes so well makes my lashes look really spidery and it lengthens my lashes so well guys it's really a great mascara which makes my lashes look really good so you can definitely give this one a shot if you are searching for a really good mascara now i have added this pack mink eyelash in number m75 and this is how my final eye look turned out so you can see eyes are done base makeup done now it's time to add a lot more room to my face for which i am using a contouring kit by wet n wild in the shade dulce de leche and i'm going to take the contouring shade and with the help of this wet n wild contour brush i'm going to put it under my cheekbones in the hollows of my face on my jawline on my forehead where i just need to add those artificial shadows to make my face look really slimmer structured and defined so I'm just blending it really nicely and also contouring my nose as well to make my nose look a lot more sharper as well. So you can see this is how my contoured face looks like. Now for the blush I'm using this Pose HD Blush Duo by My Glam which I absolutely love and I'm going to mix both of these shades uh, and I'm going to apply it on the apples of my face and it's very pigmented and it really goes well with something really warm on the eyes guys. So I'm just putting it on the apples of my face and also allowing it to appear really blushing and nice on my nose and also on my forehead now for the highlighter i'm using another favorite of mine and it's the pack master glow highlighter in the shade prom queen which is basically a champagne highlighter with a golden undertone and i'm going to just add a little bit of fixer on the brush because this highlighter is a little bit powdery and i'm just putting it on the highest points of my face on my cheekbones forehead nose cupid's bow chin and you can see this is a very nice blinding highlighter but make sure that you don't put too much of this because it will be turning into a powdery one if you put too much of this using a damp sponge i'm going to just dab it on the areas where i have put the highlighter on because this will help in reducing all the powderiness and it will look really natural on my face 
also going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with the help of the same highlighter and also going to put it on my brow bone and blend it with the help of my fingers to make it look all natural so you can see this is how it's looking now now it's time to move on to the lips so for the lipstick i'm using this lakme 925 wetless matte mose lip and cheek color in the shade nude cushion which is a really pretty nude shade it's a warm peach shade having a little bit of bronze in it and it's going to look gorgeous on fair to medium skin tones guys if you belong to deep to dusky skin category this will wash you out so make sure that you apply a really dark brown lip liner underneath this and apply this lipstick but i just absolutely love the formula it's so comfortable to wear very pigmented a must buy lipstick formula from lacme and now to set my face i'm using this wet and wild makeup setting spray in the variant natural finish and i'm going to just spritz it on all over my face and you can see this is how it turned out and absolutely love this finish to look So this is a finished look guys this is how i have created this very pretty colorful eye look and i'm super duper happy for creating this look i hope you really like it make sure you turn the like button and subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this we'll see you soon bye guys